Hi, welcome to the Quilt Report. It's Joe, and I'm here with my friend Pat Pauly in my very own gallery on Market Street in San Francisco, where Pat uh, hung a bunch of quilts over the weekend, and we had a party last night. And uh, so here we are with your show. Uh, uh, welcome to what? What is this? One too many. <laughs> But the two is misspelled. Yeah, so so what I brought you, Joe, was I brought a selection of quilts. I print my own material. Almost all of these have just my fabric in it. But some are made with just one piece of fabric, which is this. This is not like printed and, I mean, not like applicated. No, there's no piecing. It's just printed. It's basically a whole cloth. I see. So I use the tradition of and quilt making. So that's one. One. Two is across the way here. Let me see, I'll, I can flip the camera around. Turn this around. So, so these are made with two pieces, two one yard pieces, and it was my challenge. Could I just make a quilt with using two pieces of fabric? But the secret is, they're two really great pieces of fabric. That's the whole fun. Where did you buy them? No, I made them. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see, and then that's one. And then two, two, and then many. Many pieces of fabric. So this piece is many pieces of fabric. Ah, oh, what's the name of this one? This is called Organ Rain. Why did you make it? Well, I just got back from teaching in Oregon, and it's the most beautiful, brilliant landscape. I live in upstate New York, which is green and lush, uh -huh. and they have these gorgeous colors of sage, blue, and gold. So it was, um, it was just a response to that landscape. And has this ever been shown before? This this only went to one other show in Iowa, so this is it's, it's really the world over here to see it. So yeah. it was in um, the museum, you know, because you curated <laughs> it. <laughs> it was a show about orange. That's right. Yeah, it was a show about orange. Uh, so, and and this is it? Oregon rain. Oregon rain. I love this quilt. Which is, and it's pretty big, you guys. And so what's this one over here? Oh. So this, this is Bondi Beach, again, my own fabric. And I had come back from teaching in Australia just before the fires and pandemic. And I was making something and it just turned out to look like a beach. It was kind of weird. I don't intend to make these things, but they show up. So this one uh, became Bondi Beach. I don't know if you're getting the whole quilt in it. Did, did you see? I can't tell. I'm telling him what to do. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty much the whole quilt. Yeah. So anyway, it's Bondi Beach, and um, it's kind of fun. So when I'm making a quilt, uh, uh, if I don't know the theme when I start out, uh, as I'm working along, I often will have a realization, oh, yes. that's what I'm doing. Right. It's weird. Yeah. I honestly don't start out with any preconceived notion yeah. at all. And yeah. all of a sudden, I'm like, well, of course. I had just come from this iconic beach in Sydney, Australia. Of course it's a beach. It mm -hmm. only looked like what well, it's really I don't I don't know. Yeah, it's how it works. It's how it works. Once you start working the, on a creative uh, uh, project, then uh, your brain sort of starts uh, making sense of the whole or looking around at the whole world and saying, Oh yeah, that that yeah, right. that too. So this what? piece was only four yards. I don't know if I'm on your screen. And um, it just seemed to be I think this was during the pandemic and it so I entitled it forget, uh, unfolding year, which means things just sort of continue to happen. And it actually goes from light to dark. I tell my students to pick a, a composition if you're in trouble. And this is an ombre mm -hmm. with an H in front of it. Right, right. <laughs> right. So it's kind of fun. This piece is one of my favorite pieces. This is Normandy. And it was in a Quilt National, I don't know, four years ago or so. Um, and it was where I really discovered that you could use one piece of heavily printed fabric to do a lot of the work. So in, in some cases, it's one, really one whole piece of fabric that was printed. And I don't have to piece it. Yeah. So the work is all in the printing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a lot easier. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, all the work is done for you. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a couple more little ones over here. Okay. So the, these are another um, just one yard pieces. So I'm just using a whole cloth here and a whole cloth here. So there's no piecing. It really is printing. So it's um. So these are a whole cloth. These are whole cloth. So one, two, many. There you go. All right. Uh, so that's it. Well, if you're near San Francisco in the next month, this is uh, March 14th, right? Uh, 2022. 
if you're here uh, before April 5th, before tax day, uh, give me a call, stop by, email me, right. Facebook Messenger, uh, uh, Instagram Messenger me or something and make an appointment and come stop by the in. studio here on Market Street in San Francisco. And Thanks. he's not telling you, he's got all of his quilts right here so you can see his work. You can see my quilts too, right. that's right. Yeah. Anyway, thanks okay. for having me, Joe. Thanks, Pat.